Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, the Undead Nightmare. Now, when we last left off, we finally made it to Mexico, I believe. It has been a little while since I played, which kind of sucks a little bit. Now, I'm using a different control pad uh, this time. Um, I have been using a wired razor, razor claw, I believe it's called, uh, or bear claw, or something like that. Uh, unofficial control pad, uh, like an Xbox One uh, control pad, which, you know, it's okay, but it's starting to have um, a few issues um, of the uh, temperamental nature, shall we say. <coughs> so I thought, okay, I don't really want to do this, but I will buy a um, 360 control pad. But my god, is it hard to get a 360 control pad these days? They're all like uh, Chinese knockoffs and things like that that have fairly low, um, fairly low uh, uh, review scores, uh, which kind of sucks. So I thought, okay, I will go online and uh, get one. Uh, and they're all still like full retail price for the few that you can actually find, which is ridiculous. And uh, I don't want to buy a second-hand one. Not with a control pad, because you don't know how well it actually works. So, a long story short, uh, a friend of mine has lent me his limited edition ODS, uh, Halo 3 ODST control pad, which is actually very nice. Um, but, he said he hasn't used it for like many, many years. He's not sure how good it is. Um, so, we shall see. I have noticed there is a little bit of drift on the right stick sometimes. Only sometimes, which highlights my issue with second-hand control pads. It's actually okay. It was drifting on the map, but it seems to be okay at the moment, which is curious. Okay, which is cool. But I have noticed, actually, going back to a, a, an official 360 control pad, it feels a lot nicer. Well, <laughs> duh, it's the official control pad. Um, but yeah, very disappointing that you can't use a, an... Xbox One control pad on a uh, 360, which is a little bit sad, but there we go. I can understand not being able to use a, um, a 361 on an Xbox One, but you would have thought, considering they're wireless, they'd be backwards compatible, but uh, sadly not. Uh, I don't really want to spend like £50 on a 360 control pad, even though there is a butt ton of 360 games that I do want to be covering, and uh, Xbox games for that matter. Right, I think we've milked this place dry. Now we're in Mexico, it seems only reasonable that we unlock all of our uh, places first. Let's go unlock everywhere. It's nice to be back to a wireless control pad, though. Um, I hate wires. Come on, sparkles. Come on, my friend. And I have looked for the legendary horses for ages off camera. I can't find them. Um... Which kind of sucks. But then there's only one we need to find. Uh, I don't know if it is just like a pure chance thing. But it does seem incredibly difficult to find them off camera. Uh, well, off camera. That doesn't really make any difference. It does seem incredibly difficult to find them. Uh, once you've already found them. Because uh, they don't get highlighted on the map anymore. Which kind of sucks. Never mind. But to solve the controller issue. I did think I might just sell my 360. Uh, and buy a new one. Uh, not a new one, like a, a second hand one, because the second hand one, they all come with wireless control pads. So I might just do that. But then the control pad's going to be second hand. <sighs> I don't really care about second hand goods, it doesn't bother me that much. Um, you know, second hand games and whatnot. But second hand games consoles and things, I'm very wary of. Because you don't know what's happened to them. You don't know if they've been repaired before, etc. And especially in uh, my case, second-hand um, current-gen gear is, is, is almost never worth it. Like, when I brought my PlayStation Pro, uh, I could have brought a second-hand one for £20 cheaper. Yeah, that's right. £20 cheaper. I mean, at that point, what's the point? You know? Anyway. Ooh. 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 Hey guys, where are we? This Ah, we've already found somewhere. Nice. Right, let's go dig in. And one thing I'm already noticing with this control pad is just how much Oh god, charger. It's just how much better the um the shoulder buttons are. Straight off the bat. Oh, you're smoked. 
Come on, reload that thing. You're smoked. Oh god, evening. Evening. Come on, fatty. You're smoked. Ooh! Yeah. Oh, spitter. We need to do something with the spitter. Oh yeah, we need to like explode two enemies by using a spitter. I remember. Yeah, the shoulder buttons and the triggers um, are much nicer. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, spitters. We're getting a lot of these guys. And yeah, I know they're not called spitters. But they're called spitters to me, goddammit. Yeah. Sticks feel a little bit better as well. But I don't know if that's just if that's just uh, a placebo effect of having an official control pad. Who knows? Wow, like every other enemy is one of these guys. That's going to get interesting. And this is a big town to save. And uh, I approve. I think they're actually going to get harder to save because... Before, obviously, the zombies can get to the people. Whereas here, uh, even the people on the roof can fall victim to the spitters. Now, apparently, once a survivor is killed, uh, that's it. They don't come back. I have been told that you can permanently lose towns. Which, if true, is pretty crazy. Oh, he swallowed that. The last meal you'll ever swallow, my friend. The last mouthful. I hope you enjoyed it. Alright, let's go source some ammo whilst we're here. Revolver ammo, not bad, not bad. Actually, we had a nicer revolver, didn't we? Uh, the volcanic, semi-automatic, double action, there we go. We, ooh, God, we like us some double action. Nice. There we go. Boom! Sleep tight, Prince. Sleep tight. Yeah, I'm definitely, um, I don't know. The game feels like it, it's more responsive. I'm not sure if that is a placebo, or whether the other control pad was just a little bit rubbish, being a, an extremely cheap Chinese knockoff. But like I say, the only reason I brought that control pad is because it was brand new. Uh, I like to buy my control pads brand new. Oh, hello buddy, you're on fire. How's that working out for you? Let me end your torment. Yep, there is a little bit of travel. Yeah, we are drifting, we are drifting. If need be, I will go back to my old pad for now. Alright, well, the town is almost saved, which is nice. They say almost saved, it's not really true. It's about halfway there. Which, you know, is, is better than nothing. Or I hope we get something really nice for saving this town. Some kind. Ooh, God. Oh, we don't have. Oh, God. Okay. We don't have enough. Uh, run. Run. Yeah, we don't have enough. Uh... Ooh, dynamite. Dead eye left. Ooh. Okay, come here, my friend. There we go. Yes. We can go on an axe murdering spree. Lovely. Ooh. Boom, baby. Come here, my friend. I'd like to ask you a question. A little bit off the top. Just a little bit. Give you a nice center parting, you know. Because I'm kind like that. And I'm always so thoughtful. I'm thinking of you poor undead. Poor undead bastards. The lock-on system uh, doesn't seem quite as bad. Could that have been down to a crap trigger? You know, it's very important to have a decent control pad. Or should I say a very decent input device. Because yeah, that is what connects you to the game, obviously. Which is why third-party control pads so often are shit. With the exception of, like, scuff control pads and stuff like that. Because they start with an official control pad, and then they modify that. There we go. Hello, my friend. Squish. You know, it's quite curious talking about control pads. Why is it so hard for these third parties to get it right? Is it because they're trying to supply them at such a cheap price, maybe? They don't really care about the quality? Maybe. Do you remember the Mad Cat's control pads? Oh, 
Oh, how terrible were they? Were they as bad as we remember? I don't know. I do remember some terrible N64 control pads. I mean, but you have to understand the Xbox. Oh, God. That's bad. The N64 control pad was fucking garbage anyway. So, let alone a third party version of that. Just mercilessly cutting through the undead, thinking about control pads. Hmm. How's that working out for you, John? Pretty well, actually, by all accounts. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Regen some of that health. We're not going to fall at the last hurdle. I will not let that happen. Fuck off, buddy. Ooh, we've got the buffalo rifle. What was the buffalo rifle? That was just that insanely powerful rifle, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I remember so. I can't imagine that's going to be overly useful here. Because, um, it, it's still going to act as a double barrel shotgun, I believe. Blunderbuss. Ooh, where is it? Buff, there's a buffalo rifle. Yeah, it only holds one shot. Yeah, okay, that's disappointing. Because although an amazing weapon, uh, well, I say amazing weapon, a pretty good weapon in the in the main game, uh, it's not going to be very useful here, I don't think. Because unless you get a headshot, kills don't count. I guess this will come in yeah, I guess it will, buddy. I guess it will. But, you know, regardless, that is another town saved. I suppose if we have to hunt undead buffaloes, we're in luck. But uh, I don't think there's too many of those around. I'm just saying. Right, lovely. Ooh, shotgun ammo. I'll take it. What I really want is another shotgun. A decent shotgun. That would be... I mean, I can't think of anything else right now that would be um, useful. I do very vaguely remember you got an automatic shotgun, I think, in the original game. It was like one of the last weapons you unlocked. I think that that would be ridiculously overpowered. Uh, and that would be quite delicious. Right, on to the next. So, we have saved... What's this place called? Escalera? Huh. Okay. I'm a little bit rusty on my uh, Spanish, so... You'll have to forgive me. <clears throat> oh, hello. Hello. Not that I care, because you know I'm English. So. Oh, hello. Get off my friend. She's not really my friend, but I don't want her to die. What's for me? I don't think he was about to steal off her. Uh, I Well, yes, actually, technically, he was about to steal her soul. So, all right, John, I'll let you have that one. All right, let's go back to our double action. We can load and ready to go. All right, car sparkles. Get up, buddy. Get yeah, man. We have towns to save, weapons to unlock. Sparkles. My patience grows thin, Sparkles. Sparkles, you remember we had a chat a while ago about the glue factory? You remember that? I remember that. Good Sparkles. Let's ride. Alright, let's get the flock out of here. Hmm. Ooh. Now, do we... Re Ooh, that sounded like a cougar. It was close. Yeah, the triggers... Uh, not the triggers. The shoulder buttons are quite a lot nicer. Prickly pear. Let's go. Yep. There's definitely a cougar nearby, which means we're going to be leaving. Because cougars were a pain. Undead cougars? <clears throat> well, I can imagine they're even more of a pain. Oh, a mythical! <gasps> Guys, this is the last one. This will be death. Is that death? <clears throat> That's not death. 
That is death. Oh, hang on. Why? Is that death? No, John. There we go. Is that death? Where is he? There he is. Apparently death has like a wind trail behind him. Oh, that could be death. Get up! Get up, John, you fool! Sparkles. Sparkles, come on, buddy. Sparkles. Sparkles, you fucking useless... Right, you are going to the glue factory for sure. It's okay, still on the map. Still on the map. I'm not 100% sure if this is death, mind you. Damn it! He is... Oh. Oh, it might be... Yeah. Because there's that weird... Okay, he's going over there. Come on, Sparkles. Come on! There he is. I can still see him. I still don't know if this is the horse or if this is, like, just bad luck. Because the wind around him seems, um, I don't know, very faint. Right, okay. Damn it, why does he... There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Ride, ride. No, not that one! John, John, you moron of the highest calibre. Right, let's do this the easy way. I say the easy way. Right, get off. Come on, baby, come on. Right, here we go. Oh! He, oh, God, he's actually calling it a creature of the night. So maybe, if this is death, then we are on to a winner, my friends. This looks like it could be death. Come on, buddy, calm down. Come on, my friend. If you are death, we're going to call you Pinky. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. It's okay. You and me are going to be pals. We're going to go on all kinds of adventures. The adventures of light you've never seen. Yes. Are you death? Yes. Are you death? Because that was rank three. Hang on a minute. Uh, journal. Now the reason we're going to call. Hmm. You might not be death then. Oh, you. You probably famine. Yeah, this is famine. Okay. In that case, you're not going to be called D uh, Pinky. You're going to be called Dave. Dave the horse. Uh, that is the missus' choice. Yes. Fans of um, Discworld will know why I would call. Famine has unlimited stamina. Hang on, don't they all have unlimited stamina? Well, it doesn't matter. Right, let's go to work. This is going to be quite an easy, quite an easy one, I would wager. Hopefully, we're going to get a nice new fancy shotgun. A shotgun that has a use. Uh oh, famine, buddy, a little help. Now I don't know what. F oh yeah, I was going to say I don't know what famine's ability is. He has unlimited stamina. That's actually a little bit rubbish because they all have unlimited stamina. So okay. But, oh, we, oh man, oh crap, um, we start near town, are we going to lose famine now, because we didn't hitch him, oh come on, come on, please say famine is still there, yes, we still got famine, alright Dave, let's go. Everybody's dead, Dave. Do you know how long I've waited to say that? I've waited the entire game to say that, so far. Boing, right. Let's take this a little bit more seriously. Oh God, and they are straight out of here. All right, buddy, calm down. 
That's for you, okay? That is for you. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. You sneaky little snake in the grass. Don't worry about it, famine. We've got this under control. I need to start remembering your name is Dave. Uh-oh. Don't think the bar went up. Yep, the bar's still going up. Excellent. And somebody else is shooting off. Which is nice. Ah, hello, buddy. Are you to help me and Dave clear this place out? You should be. Ooh, nice. Halfway there. Alright, give me some of that sweet, sweet stuff. Ooh, God, there's a couple of them. That's okay. You know, let's go to the Tomahawk. Tomahawk is the most efficient zombie killing weapon ever made. <clears throat> and I, for one, did not know this. Ooh! Ouch. We probably shouldn't have charged him. Now, I'm just saying, okay? It just seemed like a bit of an unwise decision. Ah, an explodey guy. We need to kill the explodey guy. Now, if you could take out two zombies for me. Oh, no, I don't. Ah. I think. Ooh, God. Dave, this one's charging me. Dave. Ooh. Dave, a little help. I don't think Dave cares, being an undead mythical beast and all that. I think Dave has his own uh, issues. I mean, I think at the end of the day, he's just come to this mortal realm for the laws, you know? Oh, there we go. Give you a nice little shave. Let's get rid of that neck beard for you. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boom, baby. Frame rate has dropped through the floor, but that's okay. Henry Repeater. Now. What's... You know, this weapon is probably going to be quite nice. 12 shots capacity, which is very nice. I'm quite happy about that. Yeah, we're not that sorry. We're quite happy that you died and gave us your stuff. Even if that wasn't really a lot. Better than nothing, though. Okay. Ooh, revolver armor as well. Nice. Yeah, quite like the idea of the Henry repeater. Oh, hey, pal. Alright. Nah, I thought you was a zombie there, buddy. I was trying to get friendly with you. I was going to go stick my Henry in your ass. Wait a minute, what? Now. Ooh, hey, pal. Now, what do we have in the loot chest here? Hopefully, some fire bottles. Unless we're already maxed out on fire bottles, which is possible. What do we get? We apparently got a grand load of nothing, which isn't exactly ideal, you know. Uh, I did not see you. If you keep running your mouth off, mate, I'm going to blow it off. So, there. Care in the community, guys. Care in the community. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm very happy with what happened in this episode. We saved two towns, and we found, um, we found uh, Dave... The Horse of Famine, which is uh, rather fantastic. So, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.